In this scenario, we are going to use a smart object method call to retrieve a text value from a smart object data source and use it inside the smart field composer. On the design canvas, I have a simple leave request workflow and I want to include the selected leave type value for a request within the subject line of the manager review user task email alert for more clarity. I also want to capitalize all the letters of the leave type value just so they stand out in the email subject when managers receive their task notifications. You may not always need to do this, but for demonstration purposes, it shows how to use smart objects inside the smart field composer. First, I'll open the context browser from the icon in the upper right of the page, select the functions context tab, locate the text function called to upper, and drag it over to the subject line of this message right at the end. When the Smart Field Composer opens for the function called toUpper, I need to provide it with a text value to capitalize. I have a smart object that references a leave type database table in a SQL Server database, so to get to that, I'll select the Smart Object Context tab down at the bottom here, open up the SQL Server group of smart objects, and jump down into the available tables from the K2 Tutorial SQL Database. Each of these options is an available smart object pointing to the respective database they're named after. Notice the Human Resources Leave Type table. If I open that, I can use the read method to pull back the leave type record I want. Inside that method, I'll drag the leave type description field over to the text to capitalize box as input for the function. Because this is a read method I'm calling, it needs an input value for the leave type ID field to filter upon. I have that stored in my leave request record based on what the originator selects when they fill out the leave request form. That's in the item reference for the record that starts this workflow, so I'll open the fields context tab, go into the leave request item reference, and drag the leave type ID field over to the input parameter box. I'm also going to rename the function description for clarity as it appears during design time on the subject line, and then close out the smart field composer. When this workflow runs, it will display the leave type in all capital letters as shown here on my screen, and that demonstrates how to use a smart object within the smart field composer.